Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, my name is Steph, I hope you stay a while. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this olive smoky eye, and I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, because obviously whenever I first got it, I was drawn to the peachy shades in here, but I did want to kind of step out of my comfort zone, use the olives, I love olive, and I love olive on like hazel eyes, so that's what I did. I did this look on Instagram a couple weeks ago, and I got a ton of requests for it, so I sat down and filmed it for you guys today. It's super simple to achieve, so if you'd like to see how I did it, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So as I'm filming this voiceover, I am so sick, so just ignore my voice. But I am starting out with my foundation. I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, which I have been obsessed with. And I've also been mixing in these Algenis Luminizing Drops, and it just makes my skin look nice and healthy. And then we're going to go in and start with the eyes. I am priming my lids with the Tarte Shape Tape, just a concealer that I'm going to be using all over the rest of my face. And I'm doing this because we are using darker shadows, and the one that I'm putting all over my lid does have a little bit of fallout so once you get your eyes prepped it is time to go into the sweet peach palette the first shade I'm going to use is white peach I'm using in morphe m504 and I'm basically just putting this all over my eye and setting that concealer before we go in with any darker shades it just sets that concealer in place and makes sure that everything is going to blend really easily and then I'm going into my first transition shade and I'm going in with the shade puree it's a really pretty kind of orangey brown I'm just using that same brush again and brushing this all throughout the crease Now I'm picking up the shade Summer Yum. It's one of my favorites out of this palette. It's a really beautiful warm orange. And I'm using this smaller blending brush. This is from the Copper Dreams collection from Morphe. And I'm applying that on the outer third of my eye first. And then whatever I have left on my brush, I'm just taking that up into the crease. And then, of course, you guys know, blend between every step. So I'm just using that same blending brush that we started out with. Using another brush from that same Copper Dreams collection. These don't have names, so I'll just leave the whole collection below, but I love all of them. I'm using the shade Charmed, I'm sure. It's a really beautiful kind of deep brown shade. And I'm really only focusing this on the very, very outer corner of the eye. And then you can see I'm turning my brush sideways just to get a little bit more definition up into the crease before we put in that dark olive shade all over the lid. Now it's finally time to add the olive. I'm using Bless Her Heart on this flat Morphe brush and I am just packing this all over the lid. And this is the only one that I've had any fallout with. None of the matte shadows gave me any fallout, but this one did have a little bit you can see underneath my eyes. So that is why I wanted to make sure and do the concealer and all the rest of the face after this because it just snakes for a nice cleanup. So just pack that all over the lid and then I'm gonna go in and just kind of blend out the edge of it with that same brush that we used earlier. Just make sure that everything blends really seamlessly and then I'm going to do my winged liner. And I am back to my NYC liquid liner. It's just my ride or die. I love this liquid liner so much and the fact that it is only like $2 is such a bonus. And moving on to the face, I'm using my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector underneath my eyes because I have dark circles. If you don't have dark circles, you could just skip this step. If you do, you need this. It is amazing and I can't go without it. So I'm applying that first and then I'm applying my Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know in my last tutorial I tried to use something different. It did not work out so hot for me. So I am back to my Tarte Shape Tape because it never does me wrong. So I'm applying that underneath my eyes and down the center of my face. And I'm also blending that out with this Morphe sponge that I cannot get enough of. It is amazing. The one side is perfect for any cream products and then this straight edge right here that I'm setting my under eyes with is amazing. If you bake or need to set anything around the face, it is so nice because you can see there that little straight edge, perfect for setting the middle of your nose as well. And then I am going to use NARS Laguna and just bronze up my skin. I'm just taking this around the perimeter of my face to give me a little bit of warmth and then of course taking that down the neck as well. 
To contour my face, I'm using the Tarte Pro Glow Palette and I'm using the shade Sculpt. It's the powder contour. And I'm also using this Tarte Contour Brush that I've really, really been enjoying lately. And I am just going to contour my cheekbones around the sides of my chin and then I also did around my forehead. And then for blush, I'm using my Morphe E4 brush, my absolute favorite blush brush in Warm Soul. I feel like I used this in a tutorial really recently, but I've just been really loving it lately. Then I'm just kind of going around the edges of that and then it's time to highlight and I'm using Joy's Citrine one of my hands down favorite highlights I mean look how beaming that highlight is so I take it on the tops of my cheekbones the end of my nose my chin cupid's bow and then right above the arch of my brow and then I'm going to finish up the eyes I'm taking the shade tempting and I am just buffing that all along the lower lash line after I did my waterline and this is such a nice pretty dark olive shade and then I'm just going right underneath that with the shade that we have all over our lid to make sure that it looks nice and soft and blended out. Now of course add some Benefit Roller Lash to those lower lashes and then I am going to highlight my eyes with White Peach. I didn't want to do something shimmery and this was perfect so I just added this to the inner corners and then also right below the arch of my brow. And then it is time for lips and I'm using the Share Liner from Gerard Cosmetics. And then for my lip I am using a liquid lipstick from Morphe. They just launched their liquid lipsticks and this one is in the shade Virgin. These feel so nice on the lips and I love this combo so once you get that on your look is complete I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one thanks for watching guys bye